What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 17th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called a constructor. Now what a constructor does is it allows you to initialize variables as soon as you create an object. So for example, whenever you uh, created this variable right here, as soon as you created your object, uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Tuna, uh, let's make one called tuna object like before, equals new tuna and of course we had empty brackets as soon as we did that and tried to use our object such as tuna object saying and what we would do if we ran this it said your first girlfriend is null and this would be because whenever we try to use girl name it didn't have a value yet well what a constructor allows you to do is give this variable a value as soon as you create your object so let me show you guys how to make a constructor and then I'll talk you guys through it one more time exactly what it does now how you make a constructor is pretty much exactly how you make a method the only difference is the methods name has to be the exact same thing as the class name so let's go ahead and write public tuna and as you can see since we're working in a class called tuna a constructor method has to also be called tuna so let's go ahead and what I want this to do is assign um, a value to this string variable girl name so let's go ahead and write string name of course and I'm gonna have this do the exact same thing as this set name did so girl name equals name the only difference is instead of having to call the set name um, method we can just do it all as soon as we create our object so let's go ahead and now we have a constructor object that we're gonna well let me just show you guys what it does so instead of before whenever we use empty parameters right here we can use those parameters to pass an argument such as Kelsey now let's go ahead and run this and it says your first girlfriend was Kelsey so that is really um, a simple way of how you can use a constructor let me talk you guys through this one more time and then I'll show you guys another neat little trick. And if you want to initialize a variable um, before, or excuse me, as soon as you create your object such as this, all you have to do is create a method and name it the exact same thing as your um, class. And all you have to do is put whatever you want to initialize in here. And then whenever you create your object, instead of leaving those parameter parameters empty, just uh, put your argument in there and that'll go to your constructor and initialize all those variables for you so if you're saying alright why is building a constructor even remotely useful why couldn't I just leave those empty like before and um, use this little method right here later on well say you had more than one object so say you had another object called tuna object 2 and another thing I want to point out, uh, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but every time you have an object, it has its own set of variables. So for example, say you have something in this one called Nicole. That was the name of my uh, second girlfriend, appropriately named Tuna Object 2. And say you have um, Tuna Object 2. This variable that is, what was it called, girl name? this is an entirely different variable than this these two objects they can't see each other's variables so that's the kind of beauty of creating object it gets its own set of variables so now this object can have output saying and now you can also have a saying for tuna object 2 not 21 saying and let's see what this one does right here it says your first girlfriend was Kelsey your first girlfriend was Nicole so let me got, give you guys a rundown one last time the first thing you did is create a constructor and again you did that by naming a method the exact same thing as a class what this constructor allowed you to do is allowed you as soon as you created an object and we created two of them right here it took that value and passed it into girl name and from there you can use, just use a girl name anytime you want to use that object so it used girl name which was Kelsey into an object 
and girl name which was Nicole in Tuna Object 2 and passed it into the method saying for both. So again, that's not as important as how to create an object, or excuse me, a constructor. And again, one last time, what a constructor does is it allows you to initialize variables as soon as an object is created. So that's your real quick tutorial on how to use a constructor and what it does. And we'll be coming across that later on. And uh, it'll be get easier and easier as I'll show you guys how to use it in a more useful application. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the basics. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure to check out all my contests. And I guess I'll see you next tutorial.